it's no secret that Crows midfielder Anne Hatchard is pretty talented with a football. But she's also perfected how to pour a delicious cup of coffee. And it's a passion that's led to a pretty exciting side project. So tell me how you brought the idea of Hatchie's coffee van to life. Yeah, so pretty much my partner Georgie and I were just in lockdown. Um, we're thinking about what we could do and we found this coffee trailer on Marketplace. So uh, we just went for it, bought it. How has the business been going so far? Yeah, so it's slow starting at the moment. You know, through footy and COVID, we couldn't go out there and do as much as we, we wanted to. And with the season coming forward again, um, not really having too much time, but we're keen to get it um, running up again and we'll have it at a few of our home games, which is really exciting. So, yeah, Georgie will be in there working, uh, trying to watch me play at the same time. You won't so. be, like, running in at half-time, like, doing a coffee, going back out. Yeah, I was thinking I could maybe get a few in. So, um, yeah, super excited to, to have Hatch Coffee Co. at the game. Today we're at Pogo Coffee in the city and I believe that you learnt the tricks of the trade here. Yep, so I, I did work here about six months ago, so my boss Fraser, he's been an absolute legend, he knows everything about coffee, so he taught me, he taught me well and hopefully I can make some good coffees for people out there. What's the secret to making the perfect cup of coffee? The secret's a secret, you've got to oh, keep that one to oh, yourself. <laughs> come inboard, Guthridge but Hatchard. Hatchard leans on the kick and shapes it through. It's been a really big year for you already. Not only are you about to start your second AFLW season for the year, but you also got engaged and bought a house and most importantly won a premiership. How's the whirlwind of a year been for you? A crazy year, everything's just all happening at once, so it feels like it's all just falling into place and then footy starting again, I just absolutely love playing, so to have two seasons in one year, it's a bit hard on the body, but nah, super excited to get out there with the girls and get started. The club has managed to retain most of the players on the list leading into the second season. Do you think that says something about the club's culture? Oh, for sure. We've built such a great culture together and to see only a few girls leave, is, it just shows how tight we are as a group and we're just there for each other. So everyone wants to be part of the Crows because we've got such an exciting program and everyone wants to be a part of it. All the best for Season 7, Hatchie, and thanks so much for having coffee with us this morning. No worries. Thanks so much, Belle.